Yoshihiro Tagashi, the G. I mean, like, look at him throwing gang signs. Like, sheesh. But, in all seriousness, he is known for making two very well-known mangas, Hunter x Hunter and the lesser-known but still absolutely amazing Yu Yu Hakusho. Now, everyone knows he's packing the heat when it comes to making stories for his works, but there are rumors on the streets that his art is complete <laughs> booty cheeks. So, I decided to do some research and get down to the bottom of these allegations that his art is complete bird dookie. Now, none of this is my opinion, I am being completely unbiased. So, for starters, everyone at least knows that the man was crippled for a bit. I don't know if he is still in that state since the manga for Hunter x Hunter has come back, but we at least know it was preventing him from doing his work at his maximum potential. But the question is, was he ever good? So I decided to dig deep and look at his earlier work, Yu Yu Hakusho, and the results were staggering. The art was relatively normal, with the style having that 90s look that was popular at the time. But as the series goes on, the art evolves and starts to have a lot more character, to the point where some of the art and manga panels are genuinely amazing. And based on that, you could already tell that he's a good artist. But what about Hunter x Hunter? Did he fall off? Well, the thing is, during the creation of Hunter x Hunter, I believe, is when he started to have medical problems like back and kidney pains or something like that. And this comment I found on Reddit essentially explains his problem, stating that Tagashi's Nen ability, Dope Rider, utilizes the full capacity of his spinal cord to transmit energy into his fingers. So over time, his spine became crooked. So because of this, the art style at times appears simpler. And by at times, I mean most of the time. But there are a lot of moments that really shine and the art rivals art from mangas that people consider to have good art. So if you look, there are a lot of cool panels and art pieces that he's done. And by a lot, I mean a lot, not just like one every so often, like sheesh, look at those details. And you know, you can't expect every page to have a masterpiece on it. And I feel this post I found on Reddit during my research period sums it up pretty well. Also, I just want you to know I don't do all my research on Reddit. I just happen to find some funny stuff on there. So, is Yoshihiro Tagashi a good artist? Well, I would say that he is. Just one that can't work at his full potential all of the time. Which, could you blame him with the things he has to go through? And also, 90% of the people who roast his art can't even draw. However, I do see where people come from when they see panels that look like this. Or pages that have majority of it covered in paragraphs. But this is clearly because he isn't using even 10% of his power. So we should all just be slightly more appreciative that we even have Hunter x Hunter because he could have just stopped if things were that bad. But he kept moving along despite his problems and there's no denying that his manga has had an astounding impact on the world. So we should acknowledge all the cool things he has done instead of the occasional mistakes due to his medical problems. So with all that being said, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Consider dropping a like and see ya.